Hey YouTube, this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Mimo Live's Call Reporter app for the iPhone and how easy it is to call into a Mimo Live video stream show like what we do for the at YouTube podcast. And so the primary focus of this video is just to kind of walk through folks who might be interested in calling into the show, some of our hosts and guest hosts and guests on the show. Um, but you might find it interesting as well just to see how you can do this with Mimo Live. This won't be a complete walkthrough of the Mimo Live interface. I'll save that for a future episode. But you might see some stuff that would uh, prompt some questions. And so feel free to throw those in the comments down below. And I'll answer those when I do a full walkthrough of Nemo Live at a future date. Which if you'd like to be notified when that is, you can subscribe obviously to the YouTube channel. And click the little bell to be notified when new videos are launched on my channel. Or you can also sign up at uh, the email newsletter list in the link below um, to be notified when I send out a new video. All right, so this is the Mimo Live interface, which looks fairly daunting if you've never seen it. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's a, a document I've set up that allows us to run the At You Two podcast video stream that we do, and then I also use it to record the podcast in audio form later. Right now, I just have, this is the template that we last used for a previous episode. The way we get guests on the show or co-hosts is using Mimo Live's Mimo Call feature. And basically, it's a layer, a source that you add. And over here in the left, you get a special URL that you can share. So I can copy that. And that basically I would send to a guest and they would open it up in Chrome or Firefox right now is what's required. Then they'd be able to join in. It'll use your webcam, use your mics on your computer, and you're set up and ready to go as a source into the show. What's interesting is they also have a iOS app. And so I'll switch over to that now. And basically what I can do is um, instead of Using that whole Mimo Call ID link in the iOS app, I tap configure, and in the bottom there, I can just tap on stream live. And now it's going to let me choose a source, and so, or sorry, a destination. And I will tap add a destination. And so you can see you can go right to Twitch or YouTube or any sort of RTMP streaming uh, device service, but I'm going to choose Mimo Call. And now what I need to do is type in that kind of weird long randomly generated character set, harmless, ultra marine, dash, mud puppy. So we change these for each show generally. And click done, add. There, now I am a source, and it's all connected. So now I'm going to tap join call. And so it's going to give me a little countdown. And shortly, I should see over here, there. So now this is a video stream on the, here, I'll go to live to that one, where it was just that one. Um, you can see it's just my phone over the web, not, although my phone is connected to my uh, computer, it's streaming it over the web. And so, Basically, like that phone could be almost anywhere in the world, and that's a really bad close-up. I'm going to switch away from that. <laughs> um, could be almost anywhere in the world and connected to a uh, call. And so then this can be streamed out to the web, like I said, if we did it out to Twitch or YouTube or anywhere that we wanted, um, and they would be live on the call. You can also actually switch the camera around, so I can tap, turn it around, and then um, switch the live stream view and if my camera with her phone wasn't in lock mode <laughs> um, it would rotate as well and so um, that allows you to stream whatever you're seeing obviously um, back to the show that you're participating in so the uh, watermark there is going to go away if you subscribe. So I've used it right now. We kind of use it in a pinch because, like I said, most of our hosts on at U2 on the podcast uh, will call in using Chrome, like using a desktop or a laptop computer. They don't use the iOS app. But we're going to try it out maybe tonight for a launch of the of U2's tour. But uh, I just can crop out some of the watermark stuff for now. Um, since it's not like a professional newscast, it's kind of just for fun. Uh, and then the host or the person who's calling in can obviously just tap end call at any time, confirm, and then they're off the show. And then they go dead, so to speak, on the live stream. That's a very quick run through of how you can use Mimo Live's Mimo Call feature with an 
iPhone app uh, to get someone onto a show that maybe does is somewhere remote, doesn't have a computer, doesn't have a studio, doesn't have any of that kind of stuff set up, and just wants to be able to report back from somewhere in the field. It has applications for us with the, the podcast and the video streaming that we do on goodstuff.fm, but obviously you can use this in a lot of different ways for uh, educational purposes in the schools where you're maybe getting a, someone to come in and talk uh, remotely for, to your class, or uh, you could use it for uh, news reporting and, and uh, plenty of opportunities for it to be used there as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Mimo Live, Mimo Call, or just streaming to Twitch, any of those kinds of things that I like to sort of dabble in, feel free to throw those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them in the future video if it's not something I can answer right in the text in the comments. Of course, subscribe, do all that stuff that you usually do on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.